Hi, welcome along to another video. This time I'm going to take some news from July in. There's a bit of a catch up from the last few months. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up on the video, it helps the algorithms deal with the channel and shows this information to other people. If you tell people verbally about this channel, make sure you tell them to search for anti-weather modification and not just weather modification. If they search for just weather modification, this channel won't show up in the results. Anyway, on with the news, we'll start in Idaho, United States, from the 31st of July, 2023, Idaho's water resources, the topic of upcoming summit. Idaho's water supply will be the focus of an upcoming day-long meeting with state officials topics to be covered during the day, one of which is Idaho's collaborative cloud seeding program, weather modification program, Nevada and the Desert Research Institute. From the 30th of July 2023, how cloud seeding is giving a boost to Nevada's water supply, how weather modification is giving a boost to Nevada's water supply, in mountain peaks across the west, it's their job to make it snow. No, they're not wizards, even if the work they do seems like magic. For scientists at Nevada's Desert Research Institute, using weather modification to increase snowfall has been part of the job for more than half a century, dating back to the early 1960s. And you might want to consider, with the modern day climate crisis, what was going on before the modern day climate crisis? Seems to be a lot of weather modification, doesn't there? Back to the article. It's a practice that research has shown can add more than a little extra snow to the winter totals. It goes on further. This is inexpensive, it works, it's pretty easy to do, and it's safe. Well, atmospheric moisture redistribution isn't exactly safe. The person who leads the Desert Research Institute's weather modification program said it's kind of a no-brainer. In other words, it's done by people with no brain. Wyoming. There's a research paper from the Research Applications Laboratory National Center for Atmospheric Research, Boulder, Colorado. Numerical modeling studies in support of the Wyoming weather modification pilot program. Now the trick here, of course, is they're using the word pilot program, but Wyoming has had an ongoing program of weather modification. You can look into that paper in depth if you want to. All the links are provided in the information section of this video, along with links to the website where you can get a further history on the areas mentioned. Texas. We've covered this before in previous reports, but there's another article in the Daily Texan from the 20th of July, the Egyptian New Year 2023, geoengineering company brings new technology and rain to Austin this summer. Texas weather modification. Obviously geoengineering comes under climate modification, but it's weather modification. As mentioned to you before in previous reports, Rainwater Tech, a geoengineering company, plans on transforming the humidity around the Colorado River, specifically the Lake Travis Reservoir, into water droplets through electrically charging the water. Atmospheric water, then. The charge allows the water particles to condense from water vapour. Rainwater Tech first tried this process in Oman, in the Middle East, where according to its website, it increased rainfall by 18%. So another term for this is ionospheric heating, which is done by ionospheric heaters. And that's often you see a pulsed or quilted condensation cloud in the sky. That often happens before the planes go over and spray those long white trails that spread out and cause cloud cover and reduce your temperatures by 10 degrees. And then it rains a couple of days later that's what you're seeing. Texas has been at the weather modification for, for a number of decades now, before the climate crisis started. 
like most places that, that are experiencing extreme weather events and a climate crisis, they all had extreme weather modification programs for a few decades beforehand. So the astute amongst you will obviously consider, is it the weather modification that was going on in the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s that have caused a tipping point in various places across the world where they are now experiencing extreme weather events. Touching on Mexico again, from Sunday the 23rd of July 2023, Mexico steps up rainmaking project amid intense heat wave and drought. So Mexico steps up atmospheric moisture redistribution project or weather modification project amid an intense heat wave and drought. Government claims 98% success rate for weather modification, but critics urge improving irrigation and water supply systems. So the states in the United States, the southern states in the United States that have had decades long weather modification programs across from Texas, across to Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, California, they were busy with redistributing atmospheric moisture and now Mexico has had to get involved because they do not have so much atmospheric moisture and it's caused an extreme drought. So those of you in Guyana, Guatemala, Colombia, Bolivia, Brazil can expect a more drier climate where they are because the atmospheric moisture is being redistributed up towards Mexico and the southern states of the United States of America. Cause and effect. Canada. Alberta hail seeding operation protects against severe storm damage. So Alberta's atmospheric moisture redistribution operation protects against severe storm damage, which it doesn't. All it does is creates drought amongst the forests of Canada in Western Canada, for example, that dry out because they're not as wet as what they should be. They dry out and they burn because that's what happens to trees when you remove the moisture. Your forests burn. Anywhere you see forests burning, look around for a weather modification program that is taking the moisture from where it should be and distributing it elsewhere. And that was from the 19th of July, 2023. The Canada project is funded by private insurance companies and many weather modification programs are funded either jointly or alone by private companies. Over to the United Arab Emirates and the UAE REP, the Rain Enhancement Program, or Weather Modification Program or Atmospheric Moisture Redistribution Program, however you want to see that, from the 25th of July 2023. The UAE REP aim to highlight the UAE's commitment to developing human capabilities and stimulating investments to address the challenges of climate change, water security and cultivating the lives of local communities in arid regions and beyond. On the sidelines of the General Assembly, the director of the UAE Rain Enhancement Programme participated in the meeting of the expert team on weather modification of the World Meteorological Organization, the WMO. You can find more in info on that WMO situation on the website with the link provided. It's very interesting if you need proof to show to people. Indonesia, from the 26th of July 2023, BRIN carries out weather modification to prevent forest fires. There you can see the military plane being loaded up. The BRIN will conduct weather modification operations in five provinces until July the 30th and early August. The objective is to induce rainfall as much as possible in peatlands as peat is highly flammable. This even though the water level in the peatlands is currently relatively safe. The government plans to continue weather modification operations until the beginning of the dry season to maintain a safe water level in the peatlands 
as nearly 99% of the forest and land fires are intentionally started by humans for land clearing and burning. So they're modifying the weather because of forest fires that turn out they are started by humans for land clearing. So instead of stopping the humans from land clearing, they modify the weather to deal with it. During a climate crisis, from the 31st of July, Indonesia braces for forest fires as El Nino strengthens. So we've just seen that it's from land clearing and it's humans causing the fires. So they're trying to claim that the forest fires are down to El Nino. Indonesia is bracing for forest fires due to the El Nino weather phenomenon, which caused long drought and the peak is, is expected from August to September, according to the National Disaster Mitigation Agency. The agency's head said that the government has deployed ground forces, trained locals and readied tools like weather modification technology, monitoring applications, water bombers and helicopters. So there's some straight up lies for you as to the causes of the forest fires. Obviously Western media, it would definitely be down to the climate crisis. It won't be down to people or anything else. China, from July 2023, there's a paper, Comprehensive Efficiency Evaluation of Aircraft Artificial Cloud Seeding in Hunan Province, China, based on numerical simulation catalytic method. You can get into that paper much deeper if you want to. Philippines. Senators to assess government capability to deal with El Nino impact, July 31st. The chief executive also assured that the Marcus-led government is already implementing efforts including cloud seeding to counter its effects. So they're going to have extreme weather events because of El Nino, and this is next door to Indonesia of course, and they're going to modify the weather to deal with it. Slightly contradictory. Everybody's favourite, HARP, Alaska, Polar Aeronomy and Radio Science Summer School returns to HARP. This is from the 29th of July 2023. As you know from previous videos, it's been confirmed from multiple sources that the HARP facility is an ionospheric heater. This is not a conspiracy theory. United States media have confirmed it on many occasions, so has the United States Air Force. Fairbanks, Alaska. More than 50 researchers will be in Alaska in August for the resumption of a science summer school that culminates with experiments at the High Frequency Anally Retentive Program. The high, sorry, the High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program. I read that wrong. The facility operated by the University of Alaska Fairbanks. <laughs> Too funny. And that facility is operated by the University of Alaska Fairbanks Geophysical Institute. It was held more than 10 years ago, the last time. Its return is provided for as part of a five-year, $9.3 million National Science Foundation grant awarded to the UAF in 2021. From the National Science Foundation sponsored funding funded NCAR UCAR Open Sky, there's a paper. From July 2023, modern and prospective technologies for weather modification activities, a first demonstration of integrating autonomous, uncrewed aircraft systems. I think we call them drones. In the abstract, we successfully implemented a framework involving an uncrewed aircraft system, UAS, or drone, with atmospheric and cloud microphysical sensing and autonomous adaptive control technologies to search, identify, carry out, monitor and or evaluate cloud seeding operations to enhance precipitation, atmospheric moisture redistribution, weather modification. North Dakota, weather modification incorporated, aviation customer service representative wanted. Location is Fargo, as usual. Doesn't say how much it pays. And that job was posted on the 25th of July, 2023. 
in the UK mainstream media, The Guardian, radical ways to fix the earth. Are they magic bullets or just band-aids? This is from the 30th of July. Technologies like geoengineering may tackle global warming, but first we need to ditch fossil fuels for renewable energy. It's not strictly true. First you need to ditch the weather modification, let the planet rebalance itself after the damage that's been caused by the weather modification programs carried out as the World Meteorological Organization would state across 50 to 100 countries over the last 70 odd years and then let's see if there's a climate crisis that needs tackling. From Germany, DW News, solar geoengineering, climate solution or Pandora's box. It sounds like science fiction but a group of researchers believe blocking out the sun could save us from climate change. Others see it as a dangerous distraction. So if it sounds like science fiction and researchers believe something about it, how do you come up with that image if it's not happening and it's something for the future? It might work, it might not. Pretty sure that sky in that photo says it all and that is not an AI generated picture as those of you that watch the sky <laughs> will recognise pretty easily. Okay, that was a few bits of news for you to take in. If you wish to look further into those articles, you can quite easily. But hopefully that just bullet points everything to get you up to date. Come back soon for more news. As always, look after yourselves first before you look after everyone else around you. Take care. See you next time.